the ingredients in your toxic toothpaste are ruining your oral health. It's so convenient to pick up a generic toothpaste at the store and think it's going to keep your teeth healthy. But 95% of people don't even look at the ingredients on the packages. Well, today we're going to talk about five ingredients that can harm your oral health. One, hydrated silica. This is made from quartz and sand. It's a hydrated form of silicon dioxide. It's used as an abrasive in toothpaste. Over time, this can lead to tooth wear if brushed for too long or if you're applying too much pressure. What's worrying about hydrated silica is that it can be contaminated by crystalline silica. So some manufacturers subject their hydrated silica to an x-ray process first before using it in their toothpastes. For some people, using a material that has to be x-rayed first is a little disconcerting. Sorbitol. Carcinogenic bacteria, i.e. the bacteria that cause tooth decay, can ferment in sorbitol, although they do it very slowly. This means, technically speaking, the sugar does promote bacterial growth. 3. Titanium dioxide. This chemical is a pigment used for providing brightness and whiteness, but some research studies have said that titanium dioxide is potentially carcinogenic. If this chemical was present in your toothpaste as nano-sized particles, it could be toxic to cells in your body as it could be absorbed on contact. 4. Glycerin. Glycerin is added to toothpaste to give it its pasty consistency and it helps prevent the toothpaste from drying out. This chemical isn't damaging to your teeth, but there are studies that show that the glycerin film covers the teeth, creating a barrier between them and the important minerals that are required to make them strong and hard. 5. Sodium Lauryl Sulfate SLS is a strong detergent found in most skincare products and mainstream toothpaste. It's also a foaming agent, which helps to spread the paste around the teeth. However, SLS's toxicology has been called into question many times before as a carcinogenic, but studies carried out are not conclusive. Research is still being carried out. Dr. Schumann suggests that watching for key triggers such as toothpaste type, mouth injuries, and nutritional deficiencies can make a difference. But there have been several studies that link sodium lauryl sulfate to canker sore outbreaks. Several studies show that participants who brush with SLS-free toothpaste reduce the frequency of canker sore recurrence in one study by as much as 81%. In this same study, some of the participants reported that using SLS-free toothpaste also reduced canker sore severity. So which toothpaste should you use? Well, the simple answer is any toothpaste that does not contain the ingredients we have just mentioned. There are a ton of natural toothpastes and powders available now, and choosing one can be difficult. The one we particularly like is Uncle Harry's Fluoride-Free Toothpaste. This natural toothpaste is actually becoming well-known in the online world because there are no chemicals in it. Some people have even stated it reversed cavities. It also has another effect called remineralization, which helps keep enamel intact and keeps the vital minerals circulating around the mouth. If you want to read the full review, please check out the link in the description box below. That's it for today's video. It's a short one, but hopefully you've taken something away from it. And actually, can you please comment below? Let us know if you prefer these short videos or if you want longer videos. And please let us know what other topics you'd like us to discuss. Before you go, please subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks, and see you soon.